Okay, so I've got these plants that have been in plugs for way too long and they basically don't grow very much because the roots don't have anywhere to go. <coughs> so I've got a uh, yellow chiltepin. This, this guy's a little sad looking. I let him dry out the other day but he's coming back. Two uh, tie dragons. This is a mustard maruga brain. And this is a uh, Peruvian Serlano. It's for the uh, grow down, throw down. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I saw a post on the Pepper Lovers community on Google Plus the other day. And the guy, I think he just called it um, 10 minute transition or something. But he ba it wasn't this specific container, but it was basically a small uh, container that he reused and he light proofed it and very quickly added a net pot in the lid and some uh, nutrient mix. And so he had a basically a small non-circulating hydroponic container and I was thinking this would be a good application for for these guys while I'm waiting on trying to figure out what I want to do with them or the place I can get them in something like this and that that way the roots can start growing and plants could develop a little bit and then move them to something bigger so so I've got um, found these my wife saves these kind of things all the time so um, so what I want to do is cut holes in the lids um, Add some master blend, and basically drop these in the in the lid with um, the uh, neoprene collar to block out light. And I'll probably light proof these too. I've got some reflective tape I want to try using. These are really flimsy. I don't want to try to break out the drill saw, so I'm just going to trace them out and and just try cutting them. I think I I may just use a neoprene collar to trace around, and then that should be about right. To, to fit and then um, have room for the lip. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is and I'm just going to use a tilly knife to um, trace this out. Carefully trace it out. Kind of go around what I'm going to do anyway is just kind of lightly score it and then just sort of work my way around until it cuts through. Really careful if you do this. I'll cut myself more times than I'd, I'd like to admit accidentally. Which I think this is cutting through. It's kind of lightly going out in a circle a little bit. I think kind of like holding the, the knife still and rotating the container kind of helps too. It's so thin you really could just cut a hole and then cut the rest out with scissors probably. Not perfect, but let's see if it works here. Yep, that works just fine. So, let's see, you don't really have, kind of see, there's some roots in there, but what I'm going to do is just fill the water line so it just goes up to about there. And um, then the roots that are there can just kind of grow down in it. So I'll use the one that's in here as a god. So now I can just pop the other one in there. I'm gonna do this chill tip and I'm gonna use this new one here since it's clean. That guy there. Fit my neoprene collar. I still need to light proof the container, but I just kind of wanted to show how that looks. So it was pretty easy, it only took just a few minutes. So I'm going to light proof the other container, cut the hole in it, and then I'll show how they look. All right, these are done. Oh, it just took a few minutes. Um, I got a nutrient solution. I'll stick them back under the light. I used this. Um, Reflective tape. I just happen to have it. I've had it for a while. I don't even know what it's used for. Maybe like duct work or something. But um, anyway, you could really use anything. I just 
that's what I had. I think it would be that would be practical for something bigger, but, but uh, you could just paint them or wrap something around them or whatever. But I think this will work. Anyway, so I wanted to share that, and it's a good solution for what I need right now. And of course, I'll put these in something bigger as they grow. Anyway, um, hope you liked the video, and please subscribe if you did. And thank you for watching.